Most of the time it's, you know, a little game plan, a little that, but before games, he really likes players to do their own thing. So if it was 24-7, it'd probably be a pretty boring episode, so. <laughs> that may not be the most flattering way to describe Larry McKay, but it's not inaccurate. For 25 years, McKay has patrolled the sidelines for the Winnipeg Westman volleyball team. During that impressive tenure, it's on the rarest of occasions you will see him angry or hear him raise his voice. For the last five years, Matt Stubler has benefited from McKay's tutelage. Now in his final year with the Westman, he says the coach's cool and collected style is something he's come to respect. Especially off the volleyball court, real approachable guy, really nice guy to talk to. Like I said, I, I don't think I'd be here for five years if he wasn't a very personal guy or a jerk or something like that. He's just a really nice guy. If you need more evidence about McKay's approach to volleyball in life, just ask him about the keys to his coaching longevity. Uh, boy, that's a big question. Uh, it's a great job, I guess. Like, uh, super, I always felt super lucky to, to have the job. And um, the people here at the University of Winnipeg have made this uh, just a fantastic place to be. Right, right from the beginning, uh, uh, Aubrey Ferris, uh, then Bill Wedlake, and now Doran Reed, and all the staff people that have been here. We have a dean here, Dean Dave Fitzpatrick. The, the list just goes on and on of the, of the top-notch quality people that I've been really fortunate to be uh, kind of plugged in with. And, and, and the kids, uh, the, the athletes, uh, those are the people that uh, just keep me really excited. That kind of humility and appreciation has yielded results. In 25 years, McKay's teams have appeared in 13 national championships, winning the overall title two times. He's also been twice named the CIS Coach of the Year. Along with being an icon on the Canadian University scene, McCain has also achieved international recognition. He's coached Canada's entry at the University Games and at the Under-21 World Championships. Despite that list of accomplishments, McKay still maintains that air of humility. He even refuses to play favorites when asked about teams or players who stick out for him. Uh, they all do, you know. Um, I just ran into Colin Koch today, uh, uh, who played for us in my first year in 1989-90. And uh, uh, Colin is uh, looking fantastic. And, uh, uh, you know, I run into people like that all the time. And uh, they all stand out. Uh, uh, so whenever I get a chance to, uh, to connect with some of those, some of those uh, members of the program from the past, it's, but no, there isn't, there isn't anyone that I would say, oh yeah, this person or that person, because they all do. They all have just a very, very special place. That even applies to those closest. For the last three seasons, McKay has had the pleasure of being able to coach his son, Josh, but even family ties can't trump his approach. Uh, they're all my kids. You know, uh, uh, I have a relationship with my son separate from, from the program. Uh, but here w with, uh, with these guys, he's, uh, he's, an, he's a member of the team and all these guys are, I have a warm, I try to have a, a warm relationship with, with all these guys. Um, and we're, we're one big family here and he's part of it. I never really think about it like that. He's always, he's always just my dad. So I never, I've never had to think of him as a celebrity. I mean, tons of people always come up to me and talk to me about my father. And I mean, that's great. But at the end of the day, he's just my dad. It's a recipe that has led to success and longevity. The only question now, for how much longer? I'm trying to, trying to uh, keep my job. I mean, UW is a fantastic place to work. I'm really lucky to have the job. So every year it's like, boy, I, I need to, I need to uh, do the job well to keep this job. And this year's the same. The collective volleyball community can only hope he keeps his job for at least another 25 years. For Go Winnipeg, I'm Al Foster.